Welcome back to Real Terms for AI. I'm Aja Hammerly, and I'm joined by Jason Davenport, as usual. So Jason, we've been covering a lot of RAG-related topics recently, and I have another topic that's about retrieval that I think we should talk about. That topic is document expansion and query expansion. What do you know about that? Hello, Aja. You can tell that the script was not AI-generated. I don't actually know anything about expansion, but it does sound like we're talking about taking something and making it bigger. Always making it overly simple. Yes, this is about the expansion of material from documents and text, and it's actually a method that powers a lot of information retrieval systems today. OK, I can get on board with that. But what exactly is it? How does it make things bigger? And why does making things bigger actually help me, the developer? So let's start with that last question. There are several ways that document expansion can help. One example is something called term or vocabulary mismatch. What's that? Uh, it's easier to explain with an example. So in English, like many languages, there are multiple ways to say the same thing. For example, maybe a user has a question about hash maps, but your documents call them dictionaries. OK, someone might ask, how much is this mug? But my data just says costs $5. Yeah, exactly. But doesn't semantic encoding and vector databases already address this? Yes, but only so much. Using expansion can help overcome those limitations by creating additional queries that could be used on the data or by annotating the data with additional information to improve the search quality. It can also apply to situations where you aren't using vector databases and so you don't have that semantic space. So things like Google search? Yep. OK, so we're building methods that are used by Google Search today. I've got that. I'd imagine expansion also helps with things like latency in my applications, though, right? So yeah, uh, imagine if you were about to ask many questions about a document into a search bar. You'd expect some delay, maybe a couple seconds. But would you be willing to wait many seconds or potentially even many win minutes? Exactly. The problem of information retrieval is core to the search use case, and RAG is essentially an information retrieval platform. We need to provide very fast results across our data, which means we need to expand what's available at runtime to reduce the additional computation that could be needed. In production systems, we combine different machine learning methods with LLMs and even different application development methods to build a highly performant system across aspects like cost, latency, quality, and accuracy. That's pretty cool. So how would I actually use something like document or query expansion in my developer flow? So let's start with document expansion. Take a document you might have about, say, operating your refrigerator, where you've created embeddings for that text. In document expansion, we may use a method like extract expansion, where we generate different terms for something in the document. Or we could use abstractive expansion, where we are attempting to build the gist of something that may look a little bit different from the original text. In expansion, we are attempting to expand what the original documents are saying in order to provide a better result for our end users. So in our refrigerator operating manual, we may choose to word things differently or generate semantically similar sentences to increase the probability we could answer the litany of questions we get for something like fixing a broken ice maker. Yeah, and that's the first part. But you asked two questions. And the second part is how we improve RAG by improving the input query that someone is asking of our RAG system. For this, we use query expansion. In query expansion, we're using similar methods to document expansion to improve the likelihood of finding the best match. That's pretty cool. I think I'm starting to get all this and put together. But let's walk through an example here and see how this works. So step one. Let's assume that I have manuals for all of my household gadgets. I might consider using document expansion along with embeddings to take sentences or paragraphs of information, write them in different ways, and abstract the meaning of those different sentences and paragraphs. These would be stored also as embeddings from my embedding model. Correct. Then when a user has a question or query, you use expansion to help rewrite that query and use that to search your semantic embedding space. The retrieval results then go back to the LLM for the final drafting of an answer. All right. This also seems to fit in multi-model workflows, right? Yeah. And potentially even agentic systems, where you could use different models for different stages of our flow or use different prompts with the same model for those different stages. And I could even imagine where we may have something like a rewriter for our input query or a query expander that may be a different model type from our large language model that we use to actually answer that question. Yes, although like we have said in almost every episode in this series, you should always pick the models and the methods that work best for your app and use case based on the data you know about your app. We should have named our video series that. It's too long. Good point. 
All right, we're hitting on a lot here though with how expansion can actually help improve both the quality of our information that we use as the basis for RAG and how expansion can improve the queries that people submit ultimately improving our RAG's performance, helping our users. It's pretty cool to learn about how you can use these existing methods of information retrieval to improve the latency and performance in these large systems as you get them all running. And for those who want to learn more about this topic, check out the blog in the lab that we've linked in the description box below. Can't wait to see how all of you out there apply expansion in your application and data builds for generative AI and RAG platforms. For Aja and Jason, happy prompting everyone.